Good morning, everyone. Chief Meteorologist Matt Holliner here. Well, finally, a good snow chance for southern Wisconsin. That has been tough to come by so far this season, but uh, if you're a snow fan, uh, the luck is changing. Let's get right to the timing here. The early morning hours looking dry. I think the earliest we'll start to see the snow pushing in is about 9 a.m. this morning, although I do want to make it clear that there's still a good chance that you'll be dry at 9 a.m. But after 9 a.m., notice how the snow is really going to start filling in. Now, that light shade of blue is some very light snow, but see that darker shade of blue showing up? That indicates some pockets of heavier snow that will be coming down. That's what we're most concerned about. That's the kind of snow that can lower visibilities and make driving a little bit hazardous. So notice how this is at noon, and that's when the heavier snow is going to start pushing in. In general, it's the afternoon hours that look like the main event. If I had to pick a, pick a peak time, it does look like early, mid-afternoon hours, and there'll be a little bit less in the late afternoon. But in general, I just want you to thinking that the afternoon hours, snow, and perhaps a little bit of a snow rain mix in some locations. So it's going to be a messy one this afternoon. Uh, jump ahead to 3 o'clock, still quite a bit of snow activity, although we're going to have to watch the south eastern part of the state closely because I do think we're going to see a transition from snow to rain at some point this afternoon. Probably actually going to see a transition to rain for everyone across southern Wisconsin, but I think for most that's probably not going to happen until the very late afternoon, early evening hours. But see that green showing up around the Racine Kenosha area? I do think we're going to see the transition from snow to rain occur earlier here. And that's why the snow totals are going to be a little bit smaller in this area compared to places like Madison and La Crosse. I think everything pushes out of here by 9 o'clock, so only precipitation around during the early evening hours and then the rest of the night is going to be dry. All right, let's talk about snow totals. Now, this is the best estimate. When you blend all the models together, these are the numbers you get. I'm going to show you the ranges in a second, which I think is a better forecast overall, but some people always want that specific value. So if we had to show one specific value, this is what we're going to go with. And notice how the bullseye here is really in between Madison and La Crosse. There, three, four inches looks pretty likely. So some place like Baraboo, you have one of the better chances to see one of those higher totals. Then notice how there's a big drop off as you go to the southeast. That's because of that transition that's going to occur earlier in the afternoon versus places like Madison and La Crosse to rain. That's why we're seeing Kenosha, you're going to come in with smaller snow totals. So let's talk about those ranges for our snow totals and the, when the best opportunity at seeing precipitation is going to be. I'll call it scattered snow showers for the morning, but I still think the main event even for La Crosse is going to be during probably the early afternoon hours. It's going to be breezy today with gusts around 20 miles per hour and the high 32 for Madison. Not much going on this morning. By the late morning, some isolated snow showers will start to pop up, but the main event is going to be during the afternoon. It does look like it's probably going to be all snow during the afternoon. Breezy as well in Madison, the high 34. For Racine and Kenosha, some isolated snow showers. I do think it's going to start as snow, particularly late this morning, early this afternoon. But at some point during the afternoon, we're going to see a transition from snow to rain. And that's going to limit the snow totals. Breezy for Racine and Kenosha as well. Gusts around 25, the high 38. So as far as the activity winding down during the early evening hours, I'll leave it a 20% chance for that rain-snow mix very early this evening as some warmer air tries to invect in here, particularly aloft. Uh, partly cloudy uh, for the rest of the night in La Crosse. The snow total for La Crosse, I think, could be on the low end if the snow underachieves two inches. If the snow overachieves, could be as much as four inches, though. And a cold night, low of 10 degrees. In Madison, I've got a 30% chance during the early evening hours of a rain-snow mix. Mostly cloudy night. It does look like the snow totals in Madison should be pretty consistent. Somewhere between two and three inches, the low 20 degrees. For a seen Kenosha, it's possible it could come in as little as a quarter of an inch if that transition from snow to rain occurs earlier in the afternoon. If it takes a little bit longer, perhaps up to an inch of snow will fall. The low tonight in uh, Racine and Kenosha is going to be 28. And I do think that during the evening hours tonight, it's going to be all rain coming down. A 40% chance during the evening hours and overnight it does look dry. For Wednesday, 10% chance of snow in the afternoon in La Crosse. I do think much of the day is going to be dry. A cold day, just 19 degrees, 20% chance of snow in the afternoon for Madison, partly cloudy with a high of 26. Racine, Kenosha, I think the precipitation is going to hold off until the evening hours. Looks like a dry day on Wednesday with a high of 35. So the big takeaway here is that during the afternoon hours, it is going to be messy. 
Uh, the traffic is definitely going to be slowed down, especially with those pockets of heavy snow in spots. So if you can avoid being on the roads this afternoon, that's going to be ideal.